the decorator. The idea of the decorator is again to wrap around another object and similar to the proxy, we want to have the same interface. In proxy, we talked about what if we wrap a proxy inside of a proxy inside of another proxy and this could lead to difficulties. But exactly this is the idea of the decorator so that we want to wrap an object or a decorator inside of a decorator and therefore yeah, add some behavior. And this is the idea behind this. So this goes into the direction of aspect-oriented programming. So we implement everything in, in let's say, layers, and we just wrap some objects inside these layers and add additional functionality by wrapping the, the decorator around the object. For example, um, if we want to lock every call of every method, or if we want to do some performance um, um, measurements, a decorator is very convenient in such cases. The decorator works in a context where we want to extend the functionality of, of objects. So we have multiple objects which we don't want to change, but we just want to add some behavior for a specific purpose. So the problem is how can we extend these functional functionalities without changing the objects? We want to be able to, to compose uh, the functionalities of our objects and we want to reuse this functionality. Here, instead of compose, I wrote assemble. But yeah, this is like aspect-oriented programming, where, for example, if we want to have a logging functionality around our function, we just add this aspect to this function. And here we add the aspect of some functionality to another object. Also, we want to take away some responsibilities. For example, during debugging, we want to have uh, logging mechanisms for every method call, but not during um, actually performing at the customer. There we want to have the performance, for example. And sometimes extension or inheriting from subclasses is impractical. So first of all, we would reach a high number of different variants of inheritances, or we get a very deep inheritance tree, which we don't want to have. And sometimes we cannot inherit from existing classes at all. So the idea is to define a decorator, which forwards the request to its component. So similar to the proxy, but it um, performs additional operations before and after the request. So also similar to the, to the proxy. Um, the consequences here are that we add more flexibility by adding these res responsibilities. Ah, the difference to the proxy here is that here we change the behavior of the object. We do not change the interface, but we change the behavior slightly. While the proxy should be completely transparent. We can now add or remove responsibilities by adding or removing decorators. We could even uh, decorate an object twice with the same decorator, for example. So we have a composition. We don't have uh, a large inheritance hierarchy. We also don't have this ex uh, class explosion. For example, if you want to add these logging mechanisms to a class and inherit from every class just to implement this logging mechanism, this would lead to a class explosion. If we have to implement a new child for every new functionality, so we can just decorate it around the existing classes and avoid this class explosion. But the problem is that the decorator and its uh, component are not identical. The reason here is that decorator needs a constructor or some mechanisms in order to wrap around a component. And the component um, doesn't have to, comp have to supply this originally. So just this, this wrapping functionality, this is new. Everything else can stay the same as the original component, but the wrapping, this constructor, which takes the original component, this is new. And of course, if we have many combinations at runtime, 
which are uh, assembled at the runtime, it's hard to debug because we have to um, we have to really reconstruct the exact composition of the whole decorators in order to find some bug, for example. And by using the decorator, we of course also force this to others to also use a decorator. So everyone who, who wants to stay inside this decorator structure has to implement the decorator interface. It is very prominently used in graphical user interfaces where you, you compose objects out of other objects, or in this case, you add some scroll decorator or border decorator to a text view.